All right, then everybody, this is Yara here, and I'm over here with Rudy, who got first place at our locals, and we had more than 35 people at the locals today. And uh, what deck are you playing, Rudy? Heroes, baby. Heroes. Round two. Heroes oh. still live. Oh snap! All right, then. And before we get started, do you have any shoutouts or anything you want to say? Uh, yeah. Shout out to GM. Always. Uh, Letting you know everybody, everybody, all of us play. Shout out to Yada and the channel. Shout out to my boy Zachy and Kevin. They okay. know the reason why I'm giving them a shout out. <laughs> okay. uh, shout out to you know Christian, other Christian. Shout out to Michael. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That he's the one that told me to get pick up this deck a long time ago. Okay. All right. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the profile. Let's do this. Let's get started. So Elemental Heroes, two Stratos, two Mist, one Liquid. And then the one on it. Uh, I mean, obviously a standard list. Uh, I really don't like playing Stratos at three, especially because we we have the the search engine and everything like that. So this is just uh, the, the standard ratio for me for my build. This is what I like playing. Uh, I mean, everybody has their preference, but this is just the perfect build for me. The Vision Hero package, three Ferris, two Vons, and then yeah, double increase. Okay. I, I, I ran the test with just one, and I kept drawing it for some reason in a 44 card deck. Uh, so I just, I was like, you know what? I need to play the two. And ironically, in a couple games, I still kept drawing one of. Uh, so I, I was happy to still play the two. Game two. Uh, the Destiny Hero Engine. Told you this deck was good. Yeah. The one Plasma. No reason not to run that. Denier, two Mali, and then still the one Dyna Tag. Dyna Tag is just so good whenever I can't OTK, but I get my opponent's life points under a thousand. So I'll just, if they declare an attack during damage calculation, I'll just send this off, burn for a thousand, and it, I think it almost came up in one game, but I still had game on board. So that's why, and plus, uh, for the grind game, if I send them off uh, to the graveyard, I can banish them, target one of my destiny heroes, boost it by a thousand, so add push for more damage. Uh, the one who dusted, I cut him originally, but in this format now, with all these brave and boss monsters, Baron, uh, he, I, I have to run Bane just to get my 3000 beat stick and then just nuke their field. Because Bane can't be destroyed by battle or card effects, so he's just too good to not run into the deck. Uh, the only two monster hand traps, Ash, uh, didn't really come up. I can actually cut this to, to lower the lower the deck count, but when I do that, they just end up coming up for some reason. I don't know, but that's why I just left them at two. That's it for the monsters. <clears throat> the newest edition, two hero lives. Uh, I need to pick up my third one because more than likely it'll probably go to three in this next list. Uh, ironically, it didn't come up in any of my matches to where I activate one. It, it gets Ash and then activate the second one. So thankfully, I, you know, this is just Ash bait, but overall, uh, never got Ash any one of my games. The two Fusion Destinies, no reason why not to run those. Uh, newest edition as well, two Polys. Uh, everyone usually runs one, but based on my extra deck, I have to run two for more targets, uh, just in case. Uh, this is just also to unclog and unbrick my hand, in case if I draw, draw two names, two Destiny Hero Monsters, or any two Hero Monsters, just activate this, and make Sunrise, or make another target, and just keep popping off from there. Uh, three match change, really good card, put in work today, uh, was the second MVP. Uh, second MVP card of the day. Droplets. Uh, I prefer this over Chalice. I see people running Chalice, which is a good card, but I just prefer this just for the infirm dodge, the Valor dodge. Also, as well, uh, in case if they want a Griffin to gate or any targeting, it just send for cost and it, the effect will still resolve. MVP card for today, Super Poly. Super Poly is a hell of a card. Uh, in a couple matches, uh, turn player priority always works because some people will leave Anaconda and DPE. Uh, my last matchup was against a striker, Brave Striker. Uh, he, uh, 
He had Anaconda and DPE. On end phase, he Anaconda popped the DPE, but he had Shizuku. So I just super poly and take his uh, take his Shizuku and DPE and made absolute zero. <laughs> so that that's a play he didn't expect. He respected that play. Shout out to you, Baron. I appreciate that the that matchup. Uh, but yeah, this 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 card came up in every game. In every one of my matches, it came up as turn player priority. One thing I would always suggest for us hero players is if your opponent has a board of two darts, a hero and a water, or anything for your targets for extra deck, call your turn call your draw phase turn player priority, drop this off, and then just suck up away their monsters so that you don't have to deal with them. The one Rhoda. One call by, one miracle, one foolish, and then the one dark calling for Bane. Uh, pretty standard. And then last but not least, triple imperm. Uh, I'm actually finding out that you need to hold on to the Emperors for your turn just to keep playing and to bait out your opponent's Baron Negates, the Griffin Negates, because in this format, a lot of people are playing through two, three hand traps, and even then, they'll still make a board. So it's important to just save your resources for your turn, so that these can help you break boards and bait out negates. And that's it for the main deck. Extra deck. Uh, to Cross Crusader. Came up in one of the games, uh, got impermed. So, uh, made a second one, Link climbed again into the Decimator, and then just punch for piercing for game. Uh, some uh, some super poly targets, great tornado. Oh yeah, let me summon my straddles, let me summon my mist, let me summon my, my liquid. Oh, you have your griffin? Oh, super poly? Oh, uh, you have, you know, uh, you have your, you know, your, uh, what is it, your Baron? Super Poly, take it away. Uh, the double Wombo combo. Uh, I tried, I tried to activate this combo on, again, the, the, uh, Brave Striker. Uh, Mass, Mass changed this. I was about to nuke his board, but he pulled out a Brick Brain and pulled out, uh, uh, what is it? The 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 ghost mortar moon that chill negated it. I was like, oh god! Oh, that he's big brain. Uh, I did not see that play coming. Double double dark law. Another MVP for the extra deck. Hardly anybody can play through this. Just ripping out cards out of people's hands. And another thing, this this is a soft once per turn. So if I have both. I can activate both and just rip out two cards out of my opponent's hand. This card is so insane. It, it makes a uh, droplet obsolete, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I have this on, uh, on field. Oh yeah, all your costs sending for grave don't matter. Uh, the element of heroes for uh, obviously the sunrise. No, re no reason not to run this. They squirt it out just in case if I have a bad starting hand. Uh, I run this for, if I activate Fusion Destiny, this is just so I can keep playing and keep going. Cause I actually made him and it was enough for game on uh, one of my matches. Uh, the, the reason why I run two Super Poly, or two Polys, two Destiny Hero Monsters, uh, came in clutch round one when I was playing against the Dynamorphia and they just kept negating my attacks. So I'm like, okay, sure, you're under a thousand, let me just make this, burn you for game. And he was like, well, that, that's a card. Cause a lot of people just run, a lot of hero players just focus on this. This is very, very important, especially to burn in time. Cause Long Yun is a card. So it's like your opponent makes Long Yun, burns you for 12, sure. You know, break the board. You know, you're still in main phase. Well, okay, so make this, burn you for 16 game. <laughs> So, this is why I run these. Uh, another super poly target. Again, uh, uh, the, sh the Shadal, uh, I played a Shadal one 
I'm like, sure, you have two darts. Let me just take them and make this and kill you. Uh, Bane, uh, again, uh, big body, can't be, can't be destroyed by battle or card effects, and 3,000 basic and a once per turn Rageki, and then the sauce, Trinity. Oh, snap, uh huh. Uh, came up in one of my matches. Uh, again, another reason why I run the poly. If I have too many heroes in hand, poly, make him. And not an activated effect, just attack three times. Game. Drop the honest. So 75 attack. Uh, uh, and kill them all. Uh, this is the spice that I added in last minute. Uh, actually came up in one of the, uh, one of the matches. Uh, side. <clears throat> Three nib, then come up today. Uh, Lightning Storm, another good card, came up today. Uh, side deck, MVP card, Twin Twisters. Uh, so, one of my matches, the Dynamorphia, hard drew two Twin Twisters, he set four. So I'm like, oh, Twin Twisters, send out the Mally that I had in hand, activate Solemn Judgment, sure. Resolution, pop the other two, send out the miss and combo and kill them. <laughs> so he's a little bit salty. Uh, the Sanctum package, two Sanctums, one Scythe, one Lancia. Uh, these just alternate depending on the matchups that I have. So against Flunder, oh yeah, we're siding in this one. Anything else, Scythe, prevent my opponent from playing. And the last two additions, Red Reboot and then the Harpies. Uh, these actually, I think this came up once and Red Reboot never came up. Gotcha, gotcha. So, now the question that I have for you is, is Heroes the best deck? Obvious. I mean, <laughs> Heroes never die. Okay. <laughs> Look at any superhero movie. They still keep coming. Exactly. I'm living proof that it's still alive, guys. We can still combat the meta. Yeah, you don't care about Scythe anything, right? You're going to play through it, right? It don't matter. I'll try to play through Scythe, but I mean, I'll just use Jacob. the Honest and then just, Jacob. you know... Keep you Jacob. know, keep playing and just battle over all my monsters, all my bonus monsters. Uh, <laughs> you know, always heroes forever. <laughs> you know, shout out to Pedro. He's the one that got me on this deck too. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, uh, matchups: round one, Dynamorphia. Round two, Shadal invoke Shadal. Uh, what was round three? Uh, oh, round three was Flunderies. Uh, again, I 2 0 everybody, and then round four, last matchup against uh, Brave Striker. That was only game three, but uh, round one, he drew bad, OTK'd him, didn't play in the nib. Round game two, he just waxed me, couldn't draw anything, and then uh, game three, the Super Poly with the MVP card came in clutch and just took his monsters and killed him. Uh, awesome, Rudy. Thank you so much for that uh, awesome deck profile, then. and congrats on getting first place. Heroes, heroes never die.